Hi, Floss Tube. Welcome back. I am Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, known as the Two Martini Stitcher, here on Floss Tube on YouTube and also Instagram. And this is a channel about cross stitch. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome. We've had quite a few new subscribers in the past week or so. So I feel like somebody, I know a couple people have shouted me out which I always appreciate. I love this community. And so there's quite a few new people. So I'm glad you're here and hanging out with us and excited to see all of my cross stitch stuff. <laughs> I just, I'm really glad you guys are all here. So it is Wednesday, September 4th. It's September people. August is over. Labor Day's done. Kiddos went back to school. Well, one of my kiddos did uh, yesterday. The youngest went back to school. She's in eighth grade this year. The youngest is in eighth grade. That's making me feel a little old. Um, so she started yesterday and seems to be going okay so far. It's a new school. It's a brand new school that just opened. Um, so that's exciting because it's gorgeous. And it's also kind of a change for her because she did public school online at home last year. So she was a little nervous going back yesterday and, you know, kind of reintroducing herself to the people she knew. Plus it's a new mix of kids because it's a new school that opened, but so far so good. So that's exciting. And then uh, the middle daughter, is, she doesn't start until the 16th because Bellevue College doesn't start until the 16th. She's doing Running Start. I had talked about that in a previous video. So she does, she's dual enrolled. She does her high school courses at the college. And so really the next two weeks, I think are just gonna be about getting my oldest all packed up and ready to move in um, to college and start her freshman year at the University of Washington. That's pretty exciting. Mm. Today I've got a Moscow Mule, uh, which is just ginger beer and vodka and a little lime juice but this is made with a, a cherry ginger beer. So it's a cherry flavored ginger beer uh, made by the brand name is Cock and Bull. Um, cock like a rooster, Cock and Bull. So that's delicious. It's kind of, I'm kind of having my last hurrah to summer because it's supposed to be nice and warm the next couple days. And then this weekend, it's gonna be a little cooler and rainy. So we're definitely easing out of summer and into fall here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm not mad about it. I like when it starts to rain again. I know I'm kind of in the minority around here, but I do. It's kind of like, oh, the rain's back. So um, anyway, it was a fun long weekend. I got lots of stitching in and good family time. I hope you guys did too. And um, yeah, so September is here. I looked back at my August numbers because I like look back on my calendar and tallied everything up. And in August, I had nine starts, which it didn't feel like a lot of starts. But then when I say nine, it sounds like a lot. I don't think I'll have that many in September. But I don't know. I also reserve the right to have more. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the month will bring? So I had nine starts, but I had five finishes and a page finish on Harry Potter book covers, which I'm counting as a finish because that's a lot of stitching. So that seems pretty good. I mean, yeah, I'm adding to my whip count, but I'm finishing stuff. I mean, I'm starting big projects and finishing little ones, but you know, it all evens out, right? So let's see, whips, works in progress. What did I work on this week? Um, well, I'll start off by showing you guys Harry Potter book covers because I'm still putting 100 stitches a day in on this. And so this is where I am with that. Once I get, you know, I'm kind of down here. Once I get this diagonal done again, that's the edge of this page. So that's exciting. I, it's probably not halfway though, is it? I was kind of thinking, ooh, when I get up there, I'm halfway, but probably not really because it's longer than it is wide still exciting and you can see I'm getting lots of fun colors this block here and that block there were pretty confetti heavy and took it, it took a little while they they took a while for me to get done but I'm going to be working this block tonight and there's like a new light pink color that 
that's coming in. And I meant to look at the pattern and see, but like, I'm wondering if Harry, the end of Harry's broom is on this page. That'd be fun. So this is coming along. Happy with it. Still love stitching on it. So that was the first thing. And then um, I was finishing up Magical Stitches homework at the end of last week. Um, and I worked on for that. I worked on, cause this was the one that we picked five. We did a like five, made a whip, like a whip list just for the week. Like not the full album, but just listed five projects we wanted to work on and ended up working. You could work on all five for bonus. You had to do more stitches on the one that was chosen, which was number one, the acorn drum that I showed you guys last week. But then I did put 200 stitches in on the other four projects. So last week for that, I worked on, I didn't bring over the cover picture, Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. So <laughs> I've shown it here before. I forgot to bring over the pretty cover picture because I like to keep that nice and not get it all wrinkled. But here's where I am on that now. So I added more stem and leaf. I did some more border work somewhere over here, I think. I kind of worked on a little bit of everything until I got bored. So I did a little more border work. I think maybe over here, I did some more stem and leaves and then I started the great big moon. So I kind of did like one strand of thread on everything and then moved to something else. So I'm, I think I did two strands of this green. And then I started the great big moon. So got a little more work on that. This is like one of my favorite needle minders. It's by Abby Topknot Stitcher on Etsy. She's got a ton of um, new ones that are great. I just placed another order with her because I love her needle minders. So that is Midnight Watch. And this is on, let me find it. It is on it says in here somewhere. 32 count winter's brew by R and R. So that's the fabric. And it's a mix of the called for overdives and DMC because it gave the DMC conversion and I just kind of picked and choose where I was gonna spend the money on the overdives. So it's a mix of both. Um, and then I did put a little more work on the playing with Jack's stitch along. And I didn't bring that picture over either. I'm sad and pathetic today. Uh, so this is our playing with Jack's stitch along and it was really fun to see everybody's uh, pictures on Instagram with the hashtag. So I'm following the hashtag and if you're playing along, definitely post there on Instagram um, with the hashtag playjacksal. And I'll have that below. So I did a little more work on that. I think when I showed it last week, I just had the one um, leaf done. And so I got one of the green leaves done and I started down the side of the pumpkin and filling it in a little bit. So that's where I got to on the play Jack Sal. And uh, this is on 32 count uh, Belfast Linen in the colorway Valor by Picture This Plus. And I'm using all the called for DMCs. Uh, the Forest Pumpkin, the alternate pumpkin, calls for one silk and color. So I'm using one silk and the rest of it is just the called for DMC. And you can still get in on the sal. So we started last week, but psh, you're still right on schedule if you want to get started and play along with us because it's going to take me a while. I'm not a fast finisher uh, because I don't work on just one project at a time. So there's plenty of time to jump in. And the Shepherd's Needle and Little Rock is still uh, doing their coupon. So if you need the pattern, fabric, floss, any of that, you can call up the Shepherd's Needle and in Little Rock I can't remember what the coupon code is, but it'll be in the it'll be in the drop down box below. I'll have all the information, their phone number, everything you need to call and get a 15% discount uh, on all the supplies for this. And she's going to keep that coupon code good through the end of the year, which is 
fantastic. So sweet of her. So jump on in on the play with Jack Sal with us. September, I'll talk a little bit about September plans maybe later, but I've decided that September is September Sal is the month of the Sal's for me. Um, I know uh, Teresa, the kitten stitcher, is doing a sampler September. And uh, so she's focusing on samplers and encouraging everybody to stitch along on samplers all this month. For me, it's going to be Sal September. However, her floss tube videos are fantastic. And she did a special video about sampler September and talked a lot about the history of samplers and showed a bunch of, did a slideshow of different antique samplers. It was a fantastic floss tube video. I'll link it below because if you're into samplers, if you think you're not into samplers, still go check it out because she's definitely converting me on the sampler thing. So, but for me, I'm going to be working on all my sales in September because on Friday, I started yet another, I, I started the long dog sampler sal on Friday, <laughs> which I've been planning to do. You guys know I was planning to do that. And I am doing Game of Swans. This is the one I decided to start. And I'll show you guys how far I got on it. And then we'll chat about the colors. We'll have a little chat about the colors on this. So I guess... This counts as a sampler, right? So I am doing sampler September. We're going to count this. So here's how far I got on Game of Swans. Get it close there for you. Hopefully that's... See? So there we go. I am loving stitching on this. Oh my gosh. I'm using all the called for general arts threads. So, but this is where, because I had ordered them. If you guys remember, I had ordered them because I wasn't sure, like, this looks really kind of, not dull, but it's very toned down. And I thought I might want to brighten it up. But I ordered all the threads for it, and here they all are. Which, by the way, so here's all the threads. Which, by the way, I did rinse. I did do the whole rinsing of the threads thing in hot water before starting in case I want to wash this. And I'm glad I did because these brighter ones, like this um, Holly Berry and which one's this one? Briar Rose, a couple of the reddish ones. And I think this gold, maybe the mustard seed, did have a little like surface color still on it that blotted off, so. So there's the thread. So you can see they're a lot brighter than the picture looks right? Uh, and I'm loving them. However, take a look at this color of these, like the flower stems, because so I'm over here. These flower stems here. One, in the picture, you can't really tell that these flowers are kind of like checkered. They are. They're really pretty. Um, but look at these flower stems here. It is charted for caramel corn or DMC 642. So I'm using caramel corn. Look at my flower stems. Clearly yellow, not a beigey green yellow, which makes sense because that's what I think of when I think caramel corn. Clearly caramel corn, that looks like caramel corn, but it is not a beigey green. And I looked up, I didn't have 642 DMC in my stash, but I looked up the color and it is like a beige-ish color. I think it's even called like gray, green, beige, or something like that. I don't know, but I'm not mad at it. Let me tell you, because I think it's really pretty. I like the yellow. I like the whole color palette. So I'm just going with it. I'm not changing it out. I am going with the yellow. What do we think? And see these flowers, they're like really pretty checks. It's really pretty. I think it's a lot already. I think it's stitching up so much prettier than that picture. So I worked on that quite a bit over the weekend and even like last night I worked on it some more. Uh, I'm using it for a uh, Magical Stitches extra credit for year six. So I got 
I did. I worked on it on Friday and then I worked on it on Sunday and Monday for extra credit a little today. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I now want to stitch all the long dogs. I have two more in my stash. <laughs> Do this one. I'll roll right in the next one. I'm hooked. I can see why people get hooked on these. So, all right. Then what else did I work on? Mm, oh, I worked a little on this one, which doesn't get a lot of love for me, but I am going to use it for a year long extra credit. And this is the May Sampler. It's a freebie pattern. So I'm going to hold it up, but it's freebie. You can go get it on uh, their blog from With Thy Needle and Thread. So that's the pattern, May Sampler. Sampler September. Look at that. And I put a few more stitches on this on Saturday while I was kind of waiting for the, like, the new year to roll over in Magical Stitches. And oh, I clearly threaded up some blue thinking I was going to start on the birds, but I haven't yet. But I just did some more border work. That's It's just a lot of border. But it's nice because it's like kind of easy mindless stitching. So. so there's the border. And it doesn't like list colors. It just kind of suggests, gives a loose suggestion of colors. So these are the ones I picked. There's some classic color works and some weeks in there, but... These are all the colors that I am using for that. So I don't know that I'll get back to that again anytime soon, but it'll eventually get stitched on for a year long extra credit. Maybe be done by next May. Hmm. Seems like once I get the border and basket done, the rest of it should go pretty quick. Of course I say that about everything. It should go pretty quick. Hmm. Also on Saturday evening, the next part of the Stiach along pattern dropped. And I am now three, four, three people. Ring that bell. Um, three for three. Because I think what I've won, I am gonna keep up with this sucker. I am determined to stay on top of it. Also because I feel like with this one, if I fall behind, I'm not sure that I'll ever pick it up again. Like, I think that'll be it. So I think if I want to finish it, I have to stay on top of it. Because this is a true mystery mystery. Like, you, who knows? Who knows what this puppy is? But there is part three stitched up. And this week was, like, this part and some of this, I believe. I don't, it's a lot of white on white and white and ecru blends it is like holy blends and quarter stitches batman <laughs> like seriously one of these colors here is one strand of ecru ecru and one strand of white as a blend i'm sure it's gonna look amazing when it's done i'm not i don't hate on blends but that one got me i was like oh that's not easy to see so all caught up on that. We'll see what it is. No idea. I don't, it's just fun. It's just fun to play along and I'm on a team and yay. I don't know. I join all the sows this year, apparently. Maybe even next year. Joining all the sows. So let's see. What else did I work on? Then started homework for this week which is kind of like a prologue. It's the beginning of the year. And the first thing we had to stitch on was 400 stitches on something we vowed to finish by the end of the year. So for that, I am working on, find the pattern. You guys would think I would be a little more organized, but this is the bag that has like all of my little Lizzie Kate things going on in it. So all the patterns are together. Maybe all the patterns are together. There it is. Okay, vowed to work on by the end, vowed to finish by the end of this year. And one of the things that I vowed to finish is all of these little seasonal ABCs. Or, I mean, at least autumn and winter. If I don't get spring done, I guess that's not the end of the world. But so autumn ABC, because I'd like to switch this out. I have the summer one up in my powder room right now, and I'd like to switch this out before the end of the month. Uh, so, but 400 stitches got me a pretty long way. 
So there's where I am. I think I had started it the week before and I had maybe this line and this line done, or maybe this one and this one. I don't know. But I worked, got two more lines of the alphabet done. Um, they, they show a button, but it doesn't come with the button and it's also charted. So that little acorn is charted. So I just stitched the little acorn. In retrospect, I wish the top was the darker color and the acorn was the lighter color, but that's piddly. I'm not changing it. So there we go. And I am, I used DMC for the little acorn and I used overdyes for the rest of it so far. So the yellow is Schneckly, the green of the alphabet is Kudzu, the leaves are Blue Spruce, which, oh, that's a pretty color. I'm sure I have it in here somewhere, guys. That one is pretty. Nope, that's Kudzu. Where is it? Look at this. Blue Spruce, like you guys are probably like, I've seen it, Erin, I don't really care. But that one's really pretty. I like that. And green's my favorite color. I'm about all the greens, but that's kind of green to a greenish blue. And then the little red lines, that's DMC, whatever the DMC called for is 212, I think. And then the orange is sweet potato. So get pretty close. I think I'm going to take that tomorrow. I'm doing the train ride again down to Acorns and Threads for first Thursday meetup. And I'm so excited to see everybody again. So, so, so excited. And I'm taking a friend of mine, Carrie, with me. So this will probably be something I'll work on. It'll be filling in that pumpkin. It'll be pretty easy stitching. So that might get some more work on it. So that's what I vowed to finish by the end of the year. And then Game of Swans got a little more work for something I started because I didn't want to miss out that I was like persuaded to start. And yeah, I wasn't letting that long dog sampler style pass me by. For sure. So, oh, I forgot about this one. I'm looking over here going, I have too many bags. Last week's homework, one of the uh, projects in my album was this one. So this got 200 more stitches and, and that one is Meow Block by Hands On Design. So that got a little more work. I like 200 more stitches last week. So there's where I am on that. Last time I just had some of the cat border, the bird, one mouse and one like headless mouse. So I gave him a head. That was the first thing I did because I was feeling bad he was headless. And then I did some more of the little paw print border. And then I started on this little fish. I think they're fish skeletons. I think that's what they are. I think they're little fish skeletons and the little bottom border. So, and this is on, I think 32 count flax. I don't know. It's flax, 28. It's 28 count flax with all the called for colors. So I'm using all the called for over dyed flosses. They're all really fun and bright. So that got a little more work. That was fun to work on. I gotta find more ways to fit that into homework because that's really fun. I enjoy working on that. And then the last thing that I worked on, I think is also for an extra credit. I've been like trying to get really ahead on the extra credit and it's down here somewhere. Hold up. It shares a bag with Midnight Ride. Not Midnight Ride, Midnight Watch. Midnight Ride, that's a different, that's a whole other Blackbird design that I don't even own yet. It shares a bag with Midnight Watch and that one is the Lizzie Kate Tingles. So I think I'm using this for something with a spider because it's got spiders on it. So you can do them individually. I'm doing them all together on one big piece. And I am doing mine on this 14 count Ada in the colorway prank. And that's the work I've done on it. So I got, I started working on the little trick-or-treaters. So I did, I haven't done a whole lot on this, but it's gonna get some more work. I might take this with me tomorrow too, just cause this is really nice and easy. It's a big piece, but it's easy to stitch on in hand. So, uh, so I worked a little on the witch and the little ghosty 
and yep hoping to get that block all finished up I should probably look at this one too see if I did one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve so if I did one block a month it would be finished for next Halloween goal <laughs> done done so it is written one block a month on tingles <laughs> Do we believe that I'm gonna do that? Maybe, I don't know. Sometimes when I say these things, it means that then I feel like I have to do them. So that's it, that's all the whips. I had no finishes this week. None of my five finishes plus a page finish were in the past week, but. Maybe next week, maybe I'll finish that little autumn ABC or something along those lines. So yes, September is going to be the month of working on my sows. So I filled out, my 24 hours of cross stitch across stick for September. And um, what I made sure that I did was that I put, I fit in every single stitch along I'm working on in here. So that even if they don't fit for magical stitches homework, I will pick them up and work on them for the 24 hours of cross stitch. So I have Game of Swans in on S. For swans. I have Hello Pumpkin. Haven't seen that one in a while, have we? But see, unlike the Stiatch, I will finish that eventually, even though I'm way behind. So I put that under O for owl because it has that big old owl on it that I need to finish. And then R, I slotted in Friends, my friend's piece, because we're doing that as the one with the sal. Hashtag the one with the sal. Uh, where are you at on that, Jane? Uh, Jan, where are you on? Where Where are you on that? I haven't pulled mine out in a while either. We're gonna be on it uh, because April is kicking our butts. <laughs> She's gonna be done with that thing soon, I think. If this was a cross stitch throwdown instead of a sal, I would definitely be losing. But uh, okay, so R I put for reruns because I watch the Friends reruns. All the time. See what I did there? Sneaky, sneaky. And then uh, what else do I have in here? Oh, this was pretty loose. <laughs> I had to figure out how to fit playing with Jackson, but I put it under D because that's all charted and kitted up in DMC. Okay, with the one exception of the one silk, but lots of DMC because there's a lot of colors in that. I mean, don't let that scare you off because it is DMC. But there's quite a few colors, like I had to put it in a whole little box. So there's all the colors for playing with Jack. So lots of DMC. It works, right? We're good, we're good with that. We're making it work. So playing with Jack's got in there and then the final S for the Stiatch. And I think that's it. Is that all of my, is that all of my stitch alongs? I think so. So we're gonna work on all of them in September. It's Stitch Along September. So, but I love that all of you guys are playing along with me and that I get to stitch with all my floss tube friends. Speaking of floss tube friends, I wanna do a couple shout outs to new floss tubers. You all were prolific last weekend. Uh, everybody had a holiday weekend and had time to record a video. So I am now behind and I'm gonna be watching lots of floss tube. No complaints. Love watching Floss Tube. There are lots of great videos to watch last weekend. Um, including, have you guys seen the uh, collaboration, the, did they call it Focus on Fabric? Favorite Fabrics? Favorite Fabrics. So there was a collaboration maybe like a month ago that was focused on fibers and a bunch of different Floss Tubers talked about different fibers. They did another one this past weekend that is all about favorite favorite fabrics. And I've only had a chance to watch a couple of them. I know uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy did one, Helen D did one, Jan Hicks did one. Uh, I know that Michelle linked everybody in her video. I know she linked everybody in the collaboration. So, but I love those. I learned so much and am enabled so much from those, but if you haven't had a chance to check those out, check those out. 
And then also two other people that I watched over the weekend and I really enjoyed and I encourage you to all watch. The first is Katie at Crafty Peacock. And she is just a doll. She's doing the long dog sampler sal as well. And you've got to check her out because she hand dyed, over dyed her DMC for her start. She's doing, I think Templar Prophecy. I'm sorry, Katie, if I'm wrong, which one you're doing. I think it's Templar Prophecy because it's a big girl. It's a big, it's, it's a big one. Uh, but her floss came out amazing. And so go check her out because she's just a doll. I enjoy watching her. And then also Anna at Stitch Roadies. Now, Anna is not new to recording videos. She is a uh, quilter. I mean, obviously a cross stitcher too, but has done lots of quilting with the quilt roadies. And she was at uh, Acorns and Threads in August at the meetup. And I didn't really get much chance to talk to her. I was a little overwhelmed. And then I watched her first. She was inspired at that meetup to start floss tube because she's always cross stitched a little, but it was kind of always the side hobby because she's very into um, quilting and wools and amazing, amazing stuff. I've checked out a couple of those videos too. And that is, that's a someday, someday I will learn to quilt. Think of it as I will learn to quilt when all the children are out of the house and I will quilt for my grandchildren. We'll see. But at the Acorns and Threads meetup, she was inspired by the community there. And if you watch her video number one, I think she only has three or four. So go back and binge watch her because she is a delight, a delight. And because she's been doing YouTube videos about quilting is a natural at videos, at recording and talking, unlike me, who is clearly not. But she talked in her very first video about her experience going to Acorns and Threads and just being kind of overwhelmed by what a cool community the cross stitch community is and the camaraderie there. And it just, it really hit home with me because I, as she was talking, I was going, yes, yes, because I felt the same way. Like, I, I don't, I was a little overwhelmed too, which is why I'm so excited to go back tomorrow and actually like, now, like, I feel like I've broken the seal on going and hopefully tomorrow I won't be as overwhelmed and I'll actually get to like talk with everybody a little bit more and get to know everyone a little bit more. And it won't be such a, like, it was an amazing experience, but it is like, you're just taken aback by everybody that's there and so excited and what they're all working on and how welcoming everybody is. I am really excited to go back tomorrow. So Anna's channel, in case I didn't say, is Stitch Rody. Stitch Rody. And I'll put them both below so that you can Go find them and spell out their names correctly. But go check them out because they were really fun. And add to your long subs subscription list if it's anything like mine. So I am going to Acorns and Threads tomorrow. And there probably will be some haul. And I was trying to contain myself before then and didn't do the best job. So I do have a little bit of stash enhancement for this week. The first thing that I got that came in this week was actually a back order. It was a few patterns that were back ordered from 123 Stitch when I went on the buy all the Blackbird patterns I will ever want to stitch bonanza. So there were a few that I had ordered that were back ordered and those came in this week. First is Spell of the Moon, um, which I don't think, I mean, this, this isn't a reprint. I, I think this was available, but I had seen a couple people stitch it or maybe it was a Smalls Exchange at StitchCon or something, and I just, I love it. Look how tiny, look look how little. Like, it's so cute and little. And I think the stitch is really cute and little, and Lord knows I need some smaller stitches. Uh, I also got Fairy Garden, which is one of the Garden Club series. I'm not doing the whole series. I only wanted to do really four of them, and this is the last one I got. So I'd also gotten... Basket of cherries, apple tree, 
this one, I can't remember what it's called, trellis tree, trellis something, I don't know, funky flowers, I call them the funky flowers, and then fairy garden, because I love this house, this little tiny house sitting on the flower pot. So I'll do those four, I think I'm gonna do them all on one piece of fabric, I think so, or display them as a four. And then the last one, and this is really the last of the Blackbird buying spree, for real is the long and winding road. So I just, I don't, I just love that. And I want to do it like this on a box because when I saw this, like this just looks like a big long thread to me. So I want to do this box as a place to keep my uh, fancy floss because right now it's in like a plastic bag. So I would like a really pretty place to keep my pretty, pretty threads. So I wanna do it as a shaker box. I looked, when I got this, I looked, and this isn't that bad of a size. It's 100 by 100. That's totally doable. But I looked under the other supplies. This band box is by Lone Elm Lane. So I thought maybe I'll go order the box because if I order the box, then I'll start it, I'll get it done, I'll be really motivated to put it all together. These boxes, I mean, they're handmade. I am sure they are gorgeous. They're like $125. So I'm thinking maybe a Christmas gift. <laughs> I'm thinking my in-laws and my parents are always like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? I never know what to tell them. This, I want this shaker box. <laughs> and go on in on it together because whoo but it like the picture does not do it justice if you look at the pictures online it looks gorgeous so i don't think i'm starting that right now because i get started now i'd have it stitched by christmas maybe the september start list is getting longer <laughs> and then i had a couple etsy purchases come in i got another bag from Diddly Daddle Designs. You guys know I love her bags because look, look at the little pull with the acorn on it. And she had posted this bag on her Instagram. That's gonna be my husband calling to tell me he's on his way home. Uh, and I'm nowhere near the phone, so sorry, you're gonna have to listen to it ring. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's so annoying, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna pause it until that stops. Okay, I'm back. I think we're probably the last people in America with a actual landline, but we do have a landline. That would, The only people who call us on it is my husband to tell me he's on his way home. He could call my cell phone and solicitors, which is what that was. <laughs> and then the machine picks it up and it's loud and annoying. So sorry about the interruption. Beautiful project bag. That's what we were talking about. Uh, she had posted this on her Instagram. And as soon as I saw it, I ran over in, uh, to quote Deborah from Stitch the Stash, yes, please. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I said out loud when I saw it on her Instagram. And I ran on over and it was already sold out because it's gorgeous. I mean, of course it was. I mean, look, there's owls and it says autumn and pumpkin. The inside is acorns. And I was bummed. And I think I commented, someone said, oh, already sold out. And I commented, I was like, oh yeah, bummer, I missed it too. I'll have to be faster next time. And she so sweetly messaged me and said, I have more of the fabric. I will totally set you, set, you know, put one, put your name on, on some of the fabric. Uh, but I'm going on vacation and it won't be, I won't make it till I get back. And I was like, no problem. Uh, have a lovely vacation. <laughs> Enjoy your, enjoy your end of summer. So, but she's back from vacation and she made my gorgeous bag and sent it to me and I love them so much. So I will link her shop below because they are fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite things. And now I'm, that I've showed it to you, I can put a project in it. So I got that from Etsy and then I also had another, saw it on Instagram, said, yes, please and ran to their Etsy shop to get one. And it is from like really one of my favorite things. Uh, that's So Kelly Co. Bitsy Bob, because look, this is my favorite fabric of all time, this Marauder's Map fabric. Uh, I had seen it, they're 
like, I don't know if it's this exact fabric, but it was very similar fabric that someone had done like quilt and bedding and everything in it. And it has taken everything in me not to buy that for our bed, except my husband would not be really down with Marauder's Map quilt. <laughs> I would look like a teenager in my master bedroom. But one, I love Bitsy Bobs. I was feeling like I needed more. Anyway, they have a little, if you haven't seen them, they have a little pouch here to put your floss in and a magnet to hold your scissors and your extra threads stay stuck to here. And look how beautifully she fussy cut that fabric. Uh, love it. And while I was running my way over to get this one, I picked up two more. So I got this pretty bluebird one, but that's also orange. So it has like kind of a fall feel to it. I like it because it's kind of fall, but still little pretty pops of color with bluebirds. And then I also got this one because it's gray and pink. I love gray and pink together. So <laughs> I went a little crazy on Etsy. And then yesterday I had the opportunity to go to Threadneedle Street and meet uh, another local stitcher who watches my floss tube. Uh, her name is Robin, and she was headed to Threadneedle Street with uh, one of her stitchy friends and said, would you like to meet us there? And we'll, we can meet up and have lunch, which we did. It was fantastic, so fun, and now we're planning more stitchy, local stitchy days, and I, as soon as I have details on that, I will let you know. I was only going to get I had two flosses, two, two flosses that I needed to get. Actually, I think I had four. She only had two of them. I was like, good, look at me. I'm going to get two flosses. And then I wandered over to her bin of Prairie Schoolers and got sucked in. So I got a few Prairie Schooler charts that are like the original cardboard. So they're nice. I got this one. This had been on my wish list. So when I saw it, I picked it up. Rain, rain, go away. Um, I love this one that says rain on the green grass and rain on the tree and rain on the housetop, but not on me because that's me all winter long. <laughs> I will stay in here and stitch. You go ahead and rain out there. Very apropos for Seattle. And then these I have been eyeing, I think because staff of Pam and staff just keep stitching. I think it was a mania for her maybe, this little red riding hood. So she was stitching this and I just, I love the colors. I, it's just such a clever pattern. And I know they're not really, I don't know if they're really a series, but there are several of these, they're not nursery rhymes. They're not really fables, are they? Like nursery stories? What would you call these? Little red riding hood because there's several of them and she had several of them. The three billy goats gruff. The three little pigs. <laughs> and seriously, I love these patterns. I don't know why, where am I gonna put these? I will stitch these theoretically for a grandchild's nursery. And I'm easily, hopefully, years <laughs> <laughs> stitching anything for a grandchild's nursery but I love them so I got three little pigs and tortoise in the hair tortoise in the hair so I, I don't think that these were really an official series because they're not all in a row they're book number 162 168 185 okay 185 and 186 that seems pretty close together three little pigs and little red riding hood 179 so I don't know that they're an official series. Does anybody, do you guys know, are there more of these that are these like children's storybook? Storybook? These storybooks? Uh, are there more of these than what I have? Because now I'm gonna have to have them all. So let me know if I'm missing any. I've got Little Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs, Three Billy Goat Scruff, Tortoise in the hair, which seemed like it was a little bit different dimensions, but not by much. They're not all exactly the same dimensions anyway, but 
let me know, are there more prayer schoolers that I should be looking out for? So I got those. And the one thing about Threadneedle Street, they have fantastic floss selection. They don't have like the most amazing pattern selection. I mean, it's not a huge store. It's a tiny little store. The um, woman who runs it is very sweet and helpful, has a very nice fabric selection and will custom cut pieces for you. They have a lot of Shepherd's Bush. It's also a needlepoint store. So they have a lot of beautiful, what appear to be hand painted needlepoint canvases. And they also have a ton of Mirabilia. And I have not, all of you who stitch Mirabilia's impressed the heck out of me. They are beautiful, gorgeous. I love looking at them. I wasn't really hankering to stitch any of them. Like the fancy ladies, it's like they're beautiful, but I wasn't really having a hankering to stitch any of them until I saw these. And I I, I saw these on the common threaded stitcher uh, Instagram hashtag, and I think they were a favorite finish post because I don't think they're out of print. I, so I don't think it was a unicorn chart thing. Um, if it was, I know, <laughs> then I'm excited. I now have them. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that someone had finished them and it was like a favorite finish. And when I saw those, I was like, oh, playing cards, like queen cards, because we play, my husband and I play a lot of game. We play a lot of games in general with the kids, with friends, but the two of us like vacation, if we're traveling, we play canasta, we play gin, we play, we love to play euchre with the family. Uh, we play a lot of euchre in college. We went to Purdue, go Boilers. And there's a lot of euchre playing at Purdue. So the cards really called to me. So I got both, she had both of them and I got both of them. Now, the gal who owns the shop said, I need to look into this, that some people really stitch four cards. So they'll, that the way that this pattern is designed, you can stitch this lady twice in both directions. Like you stitch her, turn your fabric over, and stitch it again. So that you have a queen of hearts card, and then you would do the same thing with the queen of spades and have a queen of spades card. So that just now would turn the two patterns into four. I have no idea when I'll start these, but I am now, I'm now the owner of Mirabilia patterns. <laughs> But I like beading. I mean, the Mill Hill beading I've done, I really enjoy it. And these are charted in DMC, a little bit of Krynik and beads. So that seems kind of doable to me. So what do we think? Should I start a Mirabilia anytime soon? I bought them. Couldn't resist them. So that's it. My Acorns and Threads bag is going back with me to Acorns and Threads tomorrow. I'm gonna to have to behave myself maybe a little more than I was planning to because I was planning on doing some purchasing, but I apparently already did some purchasing. There will probably still be some stash enhancement. While I'm there, one of the Bitsy Bobs, probably two of them will absolutely be traveling with me. They're the best things ever and are some of my favorite things. So, which speaking of favorite things, I can't, I'm blown away, cannot believe it, but I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. That is crazy to me. I cannot believe that so many people are interested at all in what I'm stitching and what I'm doing, especially because I still feel like a novice. Like I, I just, outside of cross stitching my girls' stockings, I'm kind of newly back to cross stitching since last fall. It's been like less than a year since I re got back into cross stitch. It's been since March that I fell down the rabbit hole and found Facebook groups and floss tube and this amazing community. So I still feel like a novice. So the fact that any of you guys come here week after week to listen to me ramble and see my novice stitching is amazing to me. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, with that said, over 900 subscribers, I am planning a big giveaway at 1,000. 
that I think is going to be kind of a my favorite things kind of themed, kind of like Oprah. You get a project bag and you get really one person. But I'm going to put together a package that's kind of like all of my favorite stitchy things. So I'm going to be accumulating stuff over the next few weeks for that. And so if you like my channel, tell your friends. Get us to a thousand and we'll do a big old giveaway. Yay! But first, let's do the giveaways for this week and last week. So last week, I was giving away this magazine because I discovered that you can get magazines at the thrift store. And this one had some cute, had some cute stockings, had a nice um, 4th of July, had a fun patriotic stitch in it. So last week I had asked you what you were doing for Labor Day because I had forgotten what I was going to ask. Let me pull up my random number generator. And so if you wanted in on the giveaway, you just had to let me know what you were doing for the long weekend or not so long weekend if you weren't in the US. And I had 16 people that told me what they were doing for the weekend. So there's my random number generator, one to 16. All right, number three. So number three is Faye Harris. Faye, you win again, I have your address. So I am going to send this off to you. Yay! So that was last week's giveaway. This week, because it's a new month, and I have my little calendar that I write everything in, which I did, I probably should have put that in mustache accumulation. I bought a 2020 little smaller calendar to keep track of what I work on every day. But this year, well, I mean, since May, when I started actually tracking what I worked on every day, I use this big cross stitch calendar. So since it's a new month, I'm giving away one of the monthly patterns from this by Awesome Pattern Studio. I'm giving away the Mandala Hummingbird. So I'm gonna fold this up and put it in an envelope. So if you don't want a folded pattern, don't enter. But it comes, you know, with, oh, I'm not gonna show you the pattern. But it comes with the pattern like printed like a million different ways. So there's color symbols, there's black and white, there's color, you, any way you want a pattern, it's in here for this Mandala Hummingbird. So that's gonna be this week's giveaway. And since I'm doing the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is gonna be my favorite things, tell me what your favorite cross-stitch supply is. Like what's your favorite accessories, notion, cross-stitch accoutrement, whatever your favorite, whether it's a project bag, a needle, whatever your favorite thing is, doesn't have to be the thing you can't live without, like your favorite little gadgety thing, I wanna hear about it, cause I might discover my next new favorite. So that's all I have for you guys this week. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and are easing into fall. And uh, we're kind of working on getting back into routine here. So until next week, cheers. <laughs>